call this my Mayor's State of the Union address to Council and to the public. Since mid-September, I've listened to the hearts and minds of Council, the City Manager, <clears throat> and as many department heads and employees, I prefer to refer to them as team members, as time would permit. I've also read numerous reports and financial statements, and there were three recurring themes. Number one is the need for leadership, specifically for Council to get on with the business of leading the city through effective decision making. Two, the need for a return to financial stability. Efforts of Council and staff over the past few years are helping. However, much work still needs to be done. Three, the desire for a changed culture within City Hall itself, one that replaces discouragement with hope and anxiety with enthusiasm. Moving forward, your new Council is going to focus on two key goals over the next three years, which will address these three key themes of leadership, financial stability, and hope. The two goals are, number one, for the city to live within our means as we focus on delivery of the key services, our city shareholders, the tax paying public, what they need and expect from us. We must keep our word and pay back the $26 million that we owe to our creditors and find ways to do more than keep the lights on in the city. There's a misconception that we are out of the woods financially. We're on the right track, but we're not out of the woods. In conjunction with this goal of honouring debt repayments and maintaining services, we recognise the need to do a better job of communicating status and progress with the public. <coughs> Number two, the second goal, is to follow through on the realisation of a strategic plan that will guide the City in its decision making and align stakeholders with a common vision to get us rowing in the same direction. This will go a long way in re-energising pride in our City. The city must organize for innovative thinking using a strategic approach. It's always a buzzword, but it's true. To ensure that its philosophy, you know, the, the purpose and the values, is clear, understood and agreed on by all involved parties. Proper strategic planning requires strategic leadership that focuses on opportunities as opposed to problems. It should allow for creative thinking. For example, there are a lot of capable residents who don't hold political office, yet they're willing to help maintain and rebuild our community through the proven experience and expertise that they bring to the table. I will work with Council and the City Manager in harnessing those energies from the public. This could involve, for example, a request by a Council Committee for participation of local citizens, using their knowledge and experience to help guide certain project and policy initiatives. And this is just one example. The point is, let's not be afraid to think out of the box, yet build process into our planning. We want both and solutions to replace either or prob problems. We want to be able to measure success. We want to seek win-win goals that create unity at City Hall, at its departments, and in the community at large. No worthwhile goal is ever easily achieved. I love an observation, an observation on Winston Churchill's quote about planning and process that I'll close with. Churchill said, the plan often isn't worth the paper it's written on. However, the process of planning is priceless. We don't have plans because they necessarily turn out just so. We have plans so that a team of people have shared goals, ideas and passions. They may exceed their plan or fail miserably in following their plan, but the fact that they work together as a team is important. The chance of success without a goal is very low. The chances of success with a goal and a bit of timing are much greater. So I look forward to serving the city I love for the next three years, and I'd love to hear from anyone who'd care to contact me or the council uh, by phone, letter, personal visit, or even email me at, uh, th I think this is right, Allison G. Wilson at Dryden.ca. I'll have to get used to that one. So thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you.